Steve Jobs was known to prove a point in a memorable way, and this similarly happened when Apple was designing the first iPod. When the first prototype of iPod was ready, engineers went to present their work to Steve Jobs for approval, but he rejected it giving the reason of its big size. The engineers explained that it was simply impossible to make it more smaller. Then Steve Jobs walked towards the aquarium and dropped iPod into the tank. After it touched bottom, bubbles started floating to the top. Jobs explained the engineers that there's vacant space in the iPod so it can be made smaller. The iPod was redesigned after that by making it much smaller to hold in pockets, and the rest is history. See you in the next one.